In this video, we'll review how to prove if a quadrilateral is a rhombus. To begin, let's review the definition of a rhombus. A rhombus is a quadrilateral with four congruent sides. Now, in order to show that those sides are congruent, I need to find their length. The way you find the length of anything that is diagonal is to use Pythagorean theorem. The only segments that you can ever count on a grid are horizontal and vertical segments. If it's ever diagonal, you're using Pythagorean theorem. To begin, we'll find the slope triangles and we'll use those to do Pythagorean Theorem. So for segment AB, I see that we have legs of 4 and 3. So 4 squared plus 3 squared equals that length AB squared. Make sure you justify Pythagorean Theorem and work it out. 3 squared is 9, 4 squared is 16, 9 plus 16 is 25. Now that's AB squared. In order to find the length of AB, we square root both sides. So AB is the square root of 25, or 5 units. Now I can do the same thing for the other sides, and I'm going to go through this very quickly. BC is also 4 by 3, which means when you use Pythagorean Theorem, same numbers, it's going to come out with the same answer. Now I'm going to see that the other segment, CD, also has a triangle that has a leg of 4 and 3, which means when you use Pythagorean Theorem, also comes out to be 5 units. And then lastly, for that last segment, DA, its rise is 4, its run is 3, so those are the legs of the right triangle, which means 4 squared plus 3 squared is again equal to AD squared by Pythagorean Theorem, and again it'll work out to be 5 units. Now that's a lot of work. I went through it really quick. If I was to do this by hand, it would take quite a while. There is another way to do this. You could do Pythagorean Theorem one time, and then say, because A, B, B, C, C, D, and D, A are all the hypotenuse of congruent triangles, and I know they're congruent by side angle side, the sides that are four units all match, the sides that are three units are all match, and you have the four right angles in those sloped triangles, it is side angle side. Well, congruent triangles have congruent parts, which means AB is congruent to BC, is congruent to CD, is congruent to AD, because they're all five units long. Or you do the Pythagorean Theorem four times, show that all four segments have the same length, and say that they're congruent because they all have and wherever that length is, in this case, five units. Now, in order to prove this is a rhombus, I need to go back to the definition. The definition of a rhombus is a quadrilateral with four congruent sides. I've shown that AB, BC, CD, and AD are all congruent, therefore I can conclude ABCD is a rhombus because it's a quadrilateral of four congruent sides. To summarize, if you're trying to prove something's a rhombus, find the length of all the sides. If all four sides are congruent, then you have a rhombus by definition. The definition of a rhombus is a quadrilateral with four congruent sides. Thank you for watching this video, and I hope that it helped you understand how to prove a rhombus.